Solving a system in three variables. So whenever we're dealing with an equation with three variables, that means we're dealing with an extra dimension. In this case, everything is a first degree, so we are dealing with a plane. So what we actually have here is three planes. And we need to figure out how three planes can intersect. Okay? The most common way that we can find them intersecting is if they actually intersect at a point. So if this bottom plane is this bottom surface of the plane, we have a plane that comes into that and a plane that comes in as well. They all meet at this point right down here. Okay? What we're going to talk about now is what happens when they don't meet at a single point. We're going to solve these out mathematically, but what we want to do is figure out how we can interpret our results. Okay? And there's a couple of things that can happen where they don't intersect at one point. Again, if this bottom surface is a plane, we can have parallel planes, in which case we have no intersection for all three. Or they could all be the same plane altogether, in which case they intersect everywhere. Okay, so what we're going to do is do these algebraically and see when this weirdness happens, what that means physically is happening with our planes.